Hey guys, Maxi Design here, and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be trying to design. Um, I'm going to try and recreate this. Um, I made it quite a while ago. Um, it's for a rapper named Octavian, um, and he had a photo shoot with. I'm um, honestly, I have no idea. I think it was like GQ or someone like that. Um, it looks like it's in and around London, um, and he had some really nice shots like this one here in the main uh, image. This one's kind of him standing on a thing. I think I have the original here. I'll just bring that to the top. So this is the original one. Um, personally, I think it looks really cool. I like how there's a lot of white space, blue space in this in this instance. Um, but I like how he's like very central. Um, and I thought it would look really nice on a album cover. Um, and I went ahead um, and made this. Um, and I think, personally, I think it looks really nice. Um, I think maybe I would have made changes in, in if I did it again, but for me it looks really nice, clean, simple, um, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. It's really, it's quite easy. Um, most of it, most of it's quite straightforward. Um, so what I did, started off. I started with a 2000 by 2000 uh, square, 2000 by 2000 pixels, um, 75 resolution. It's just like, that's just the standard for online stuff. Um, and then I went into, I went and found a picture, something like that. Um, and then I went ahead and made this black, added noise to it, not that much, like so. Then I went ahead and I took his picture like that. I think first of all I centralized it just because. Um, then I took the typeface called, let me just type it out quick. So I took this typeface, which I really, really like. Um, the entire font family is really nice. Um, it's called Druck. Um, it is a paid font, but it is really a, a really nice font. Um, this is the extra, extra condensed. I think there is one up from that. I think there's, oh no, that's the italic version. Um, so this is like the, the one of the tallest fonts I could find and I extended it until it reached the outskirts of the photo. And then I made it a little bit more stretched out. So it reached the right to the top of the photo. The bottom doesn't matter so much because you're going to be cutting that off anyway. But I went right to the top, like so. Um, and then what I did was I took the first photo, I duplicated it using Control and J, and I took it above it. I took this and I, I took the uh, f the font file, or the font layer, and I rasterized it. Um, I then went to the the, the layer above. That I have duplicated and I created a clipping mask and if I do if I get rid of this you can see it turns into that but on this one as you can see we've kept in this portion of the photo so I'm going to teach you how to do it um, it's really really straightforward um, if I do that and lower the opacity just to make it a bit higher Basically what I did was I <laughs> pen tooled around the entire thing. Um, in this case, it's quite an easy image to pen tool um, because it's quite simple. So I basically went around the entire, the entire image. Um, and went around and until I had the him cut out, and I also went underneath his um, trousers, his legs, and cut him out, put him on top, and I came out with this. Um, now this and this, so the so the kind of barcode looking thing was also quite easy. Um, for this, actually let's do the barcode first. So the barcode is literally just, um, I took shapes like this. I went 
uh, like this. Um, so I did like one, two, maybe a small one, another small one, bigger one, larger one, like that. Like so. So they're all going to be unique, they're never going to look the same. Um, and then what I did was I made them all aligned. Made sure they're all in line. Um, and then I literally just did that. <laughs> made them bigger and it kind of turned into uh, this white barcode type thing. Or if you if you want if you want you could literally just pull off a, a barcode and extend it, um, and it would work in the exact same way. Um, this is really easy as well. I think I did it in another tutorial. Um, it's basically just a bar with a gradient in. Um, and what I did was I took the bar like so, and then I took a color from the image. So I took this light blue, and then I took another color. like that dark blue then you make a layer above clipping mask it and go to the gradient tool and like so create the gradient and then you add noise just so it looks a little bit nicer um, obviously it's not the same gradient but it works the same way um, anything else not really um, another thing that I see a lot of designers not doing um, is lining things up properly and Photoshop makes it really easy for you if you do control and R you bring in the rulers and you can literally snap on things like that snap on things like that um, and then make sure that your your art your artwork or whatever you're doing on Photoshop is properly centralized or it's properly um, within different boundaries and stuff like that um, when you're doing centralizing things, make sure you use the ruler because it snaps onto the center um, vertically as well. It does the exact same. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, it's quite an easy tutorial and it's quite a simple one. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. See ya.